In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can download and install DaVinci Resolve 18.6 on your computer in 2024 entirely for free. DaVinci Resolve is a professional editing software that I use to edit all of my YouTube videos on this channel. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can improve the performance of DaVinci Resolve on your laptop. Let's get started. To get DaVinci Resolve, you can click the link in the description down below, or you can click the link here, or I'll also leave a link in the pinned comments. Once you arrive on the Blackmagic website, click on the button that says free download, and this opens up a pop-up. Here you will have two or four different options. So which one should I choose? Depending on when you're watching this video, you might see two or four options pop up. Right up on top, you have the beta version and this contains all the latest functionality. But be careful, it might be a little bit unstable. Down below you have the release version 18.6 at the time of this filming. Now this is completely up to you, but if you wanna be a cool kid like me, then you want the beta version. So I would recommend going with one of the beta releases because you're gonna get the most up-to-date DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci Resolve comes in two different versions the basic version and the studio version. On the left hand side you have DaVinci Resolve and this is the free version. If you just don't want to pay anything for your editing software then I would recommend going with this option. Over on the right hand side you have what's referred to as DaVinci Resolve Studio. So what's the difference and what do you get for the $295? The studio version gives you access to additional features and all future updates. You can also install it on up to two laptops and by paying the extra money, it unlocks additional features for you such as AR tracking. You also get access to additional plugins here like this beauty filter that I can apply to myself so that I look like a magazine model. Exporting videos is improved, you can render videos faster, you can also render videos in 8K quality. But for 90% of new YouTubers, the free basic version of DaVinci Resolve will have everything that you need. And it is what I used for three years on this channel. My first 300 videos on this YouTube channel were all edited with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I've only recently upgraded to the studio version because I wanted to use the beauty filter so I could look more beautiful. So I would recommend starting out with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you are thinking of going the studio route, I would recommend buying it from a retailer. I've included an affiliate link to BNH down below in the description that helps support the channel. Here you can buy a speed editor, editing keyboard or micro panel all for a little bit more that also includes a license to DaVinci Resolve Studio. These additions save you time and make editing so much more efficient. Once you've made your choice, click on your system, Mac or Windows that you'd like to install DaVinci Resolve on and then you'll need to fill out some information about yourself and then start the download. You might be thinking this editing software can't be good because it's free. Blackmagic have a very interesting business model. Their big profit products are massive audio panels and color panels that cost thousands of dollars. They offer the editing software free because it's a loss leader that they use to get you into their system. They want you to learn the editing software and grow with it. And as you grow, you'll probably want to purchase some of their cameras, audio panels, or color editing panels. And they want to be the one to sell it to you and make a nice big fat profit. It's a really long-term play. As you grow, so they grow. Positive sum games, my kind of thing. Hopefully now you have DaVinci Resolve on your laptop. And I wanna share with you a few tips to make your editing process smoother. Even if you happen to be using a slightly older laptop. When I click on this play icon over here, right up in the top right hand corner, you'll see how many frames per second that you're getting right now. I'm getting 24 frames per second. And there was also a green circle. That means it was playing back smoothly, but sometimes it doesn't play back smoothly. And that's really painful when you're trying to edit your video. One of the best ways to get smoother performance over in the media pool. Here, I have a few video clips already imported. I could select the media clips and then I can right click on them. Within this menu, there's the option to generate proxy media. Proxy media is a lower resolution version of the video file that you can edit. And once you're ready to render your final video, 
it'll use the original clip for that render. So this is just to ensure that you get a smoother editing experience. Let's click on Generate Proxy Media. The one downside here is that it may take a while to generate the proxy media for your project. But once it's all done, it's gonna save you a lot of time. When I look in my media pool, now I'll see the icon that indicates that it's a proxy file. To make sure that DaVinci Resolve uses this proxy file while you're editing, head to the top, click on Playback menu, and here there's the option for proxy handling. Make sure that the option that says prefer proxies is checked. This way it'll use the proxy file that you just generated. You might be wondering what is the quality of that proxy file? And in DaVinci Resolve you can define that. Let's go over to the file menu and then go down to project settings. This opens up the project settings and I'm currently in the master settings. Let's scroll down just a little bit right down to optimize media and render cache category. And here you can define what the proxy media resolution is. If you want smooth playback, I'd recommend experimenting. But here I have quarter selected. I typically edit 1080 or 4K video. So when I select quarter, this means I'm working in 1920 by 1080 if my original file is 4K. And that'll be a little bit easier for my laptop to work with. Over here, you can also select proxy media format and I currently have it set to standard quality. This is a lower bandwidth format compared to let's say the high quality format. Over here you can also define the optimized media resolution and also the format down here. You can also select the render cache format and then you have many different settings related to caching various transitions, composites or even fusion effects with a cache DaVinci Resolve will go through and let's say with the transitions. It'll render that once and then if you play it again, it'll rely on the cache instead of needing to re-render it. And this results in improved performance. Once you go through and configure all of these settings, you probably don't want to do this for every single project that you work on. In the top right hand corner, you can click on these three dots and here you have the option to set the current settings as the default preset. I would recommend doing this. Once you're all done, click save down below. So use the new cache settings up on the top. Let's click into the playback menu and let's go down to render cache option. Currently it's set to none, but you can set it to smart where DaVinci Resolve handles the caching or you can select user and this is gonna use all of the settings that we've just configured inside of your project settings. One additional change that I recommend making inside of this playback menu, click into timeline and proxy resolution. Currently it's set to full, but you can reduce it all the way down to say a quarter. And here you know that the image is in the preview area, isn't quite as sharp, but it should result in much smoother playback and easier editing. One important thing to remember, even though it doesn't look that good in the playback, when you export your video, it's gonna export using the full size files. Hopefully now you're up and running with DaVinci Resolve. If you're ready to get started editing your first YouTube video inside of DaVinci Resolve, then you can watch this video here next. It's the best place to get started. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.